Nearly 400 people are still unaccounted for in Maui County after the wildfires earlier this month. Officials released a validated list of names put together by the FBI. They hope it can be used to help identify anyone on the list who isn't accounted for. Officials have said at least 115 people died, making it the deadliest wildfire disaster in the U.S. in more than 100 years. Crews have searched 100 percent of the single-story homes in the disaster area. They're now going through multi-story homes and commercial properties. Let's send it over to Alan Miller now for more headlines. Well, Monica, wildfires in Greece are burning out of control with 18 people reported killed by the fires in the last week. 209 wildfires have broken out since Monday, and some fires are still considered extreme. Greek police say they've arrested 79 people for arson. More than 300,000 acres have burned this summer, according to the European Forest Fire Information System. At least 75 Pittsburgh officers have been placed on leave after a six and a half hour standoff and shootout Wednesday. The situation began when deputies tried to serve a man with an eviction notice. They were met with a barrage of gunfire that sparked a day long standoff and numerous exchanges of gunfire. The suspect was later found dead. The nation's first black Marines were honored today with the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian honor awarded by Congress. One of the surviving Marines, Alfonso Jones, was personally presented with the medal at a ceremony in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Other medals were awarded to the families of the men who served. Many of those Marines served in the Second World War and saw active combat. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, we'll take a look at the steps CHI St. Alexius in Williston is taking to bring helicopter ambulance services back to the city. Back to you, Monica. Thanks, Alan. A tornado did major damage in parts of Cleveland overnight. Mm. The National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado with estimated wind speeds of 110 miles per hour moved through the city around midnight. The tornado traveled nearly a mile, leaving down trees, bent light poles, and obviously severe damage in its wake.